Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Benjamin and this is Sartorial Styles. Today I want to talk about London Sock Co. again because I received my second subscription box a few weeks ago and I think now is the time to do a review about their service. Before we start, I want to share my Instagram account with you. It's called sartorialstyles.com and I share a lot of stuff about menswear and fragrances and accessories, you know, all that stuff on this Instagram account. I also do posts linked to the videos I publish on this YouTube channel. So now at the moment you can find some posts on Instagram where I wear my London Sock Co. socks. So if you're interested in that, please check it out. But now, without further ado, let's jump right into the topic of London Sock Co. I want to start with their subscription model and that you, what I like, can also order socks without subscribing to anything. So, you can really order socks from the web shop just like every other regular web shop. But they also have the option that you can subscribe to their sock club or sock subscription, however and then you get a certain amount of socks every three months when you live outside of the United Kingdom or every month when you live in the United Kingdom. I live outside the United Kingdom so I already got two deliveries with six pairs of socks so all in all I have 12 pairs of socks from London Sock Co now and I have chosen a lot of socks from different lines made out of different fabrics so i think that i can tell you quite a lot about the quality of the socks they offer so let's just start with my favorite line it's called the sartorial line i believe this is a line of solid colored socks that still have some kind of riffled pattern i don't really know how to describe it but i show you some examples now on the screen so that you know which line i really mean um, why do I like this line more than the others? Very simple, because the fabric is a little bit thicker and it seems a little bit stronger. So these socks stay up better than their patterned lines. That's, in my opinion, one of the most important thing to think about when you buy socks. Do these socks really stay up, especially if you want to wear them with a suit? That's one of the most important things to think about. The regular sartorial line socks solid colored in many different colors, so different shades of gray and blue and brown. They also have green and yellow and all that stuff. The regular sartorial line stays up well. They also have a 100% cotton line in the same design. And while I like that it's 100% cotton, so without any synthetic fibers, but I will speak more about that subject in a few minutes, while I like that, I have to say that I really dislike that these socks are a lot shorter than the regular sartorial line and because of that they slip down very easily and in general they are not long enough to wear them with a suit properly. So if you want to wear your socks with a suit, stay away from the 100% cotton line. This is not, I believe, meant to be worn with a suit because these socks are very short. On the other hand, they also have an over-the-calf sock line in the exactly same design than the regular sartorial line. These socks are exceptionally good. I have one pair of socks of these over-the-calf line and I will definitely order more of them in my following subscription boxes. And they are very good because they are extremely long, they do not slide down, they are very thick when it comes to the material, so not overly thick that you can only wear them in the winter, but thick enough that they are not like, that you can look through them and that stuff. Um, these are by far my favorites, but they only have, I think, three or four different colors in this over-the-calf sock line. That's a pity. I hope they will add more of these over-the-calf socks to their portfolio. Let's move on to their pattern socks that are not part of the sartorial line. They have a lot of stuff to choose from. That's something I really love because even people who love very strange or special patterns uh, really have a lot to choose from at London Soco. They, for example, have a line 
made together with McLaren, the car manufacturer, so uh, there is a lot of stuff to choose from. I personally like that they have so much to choose from. I personally don't like that these socks are a little thinner when it comes to the material and they don't stay up as good as the socks from the Sartorial line. I did something I would also suggest you to do. I went a size down when I ordered these um, pattern socks and now they stay up quite well. Not as good as the Sartorial line socks but still good. If you really look for the best socks only when it comes to the aspect of do they slide down or not, go for the Sartori line and not for the patterned ones. I think it's quite sad that the pattern socks are so different when it comes to the fabric and how well they stay up, but it's sadly like that. Because of that I mainly stick to the Sartori line socks and uh, not to the patterned ones. Now we come to another point you might think about when you are in this sartorial community. What is the fabric the socks are made of? So with the 100% cotton line it's pretty clear, but with the other socks it's also pretty clear because there is a 100% cotton line, they are not made out of 100% cotton. There are synthetic fibers woven into the other socks. But I really have to say that I didn't have any problem with the socks and the synthetic fibers. I don't sweat more in these socks. They don't feel worse than the 100% cotton line. So there is no reason to stay away from their cotton blended socks. Thumbs up for the fabric. I really like it. Another thing you might think about, where are the socks made? I know it's called London Sock Co, but no, the socks are not made in London. But at least some of their lines are made in Scotland. Also, most of their socks are made in Portugal. Also, European, in my opinion, a valid option to produce socks, but I don't like that they don't tell on their product page where the socks are made. They actually don't really tell you on their whole website. It needed quite a lot of research of mine uh, to find out that their socks are made in Scotland and Portugal and not in China or something like that. So one suggestion for London Sock Co or their website, please say on your website where every pair of socks is made. So let's sum all that stuff up. All in all you get socks made out of decent fabrics in a decent quality with a okay fit in most of the cases for a good price. There are some things I would personally change, but especially if you keep the price in mind, I think it's a very valid option to order dress socks. But some things, the Sartorial line fits better, stay away from the 100% cotton line, they are too short, and go for the over-the-calf socks, they are really, really worth it. In my opinion, the best socks they offer at the moment. Shipping costs aren't too high to the European Union, I don't know how high they are to the United States or other continents and countries, but um, to Germany they are completely fine. I really liked how well they responded when I, asked them, when I asked them some questions about their service, so their customer support seems to be very good. I also like the one year sock guarantee they give you, so if you get holes in your socks um, before you have them already one year, then they will replace them, also something I like a lot. But all that stuff, so that they are made in the EU, that they are made in Portugal and Great Britain and that stuff, so um, all these details that are quite important in my opinion should be highlighted on their website. So they should really tell you a lot more about the products, but the product itself is very good. I will keep my subscription with London Soco and hope that they will add more over the calf socks in the future. Thank you very much for watching. I would really like to know what you think about London Soccer, if you have made any experience, good or bad, with their service in the past. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye.